Hello, I'm Neil Humphreys on behalf of the engineering team at Aeronautical Engineers Australia, or AEA as they call themselves. This short video clip has been produced in-house to assist you in understanding our stretcher system used by Royal Flying Doctor Service Central Section, and how this concept can be used for your new fixed wing air ambulance aircraft. We hope the next few minutes will show you how innovative our system is, and provide you with some details that will help you in seeing how the proposed AEA solution meets your stringent requirements for 2009 and in the future. Our full response on the stretcher system is documented elsewhere with a compliance matrix against all the RFT requirements. The system we are proposing has options for both the Beach 200 and Beach 300 aircraft. There are common components, such as the stretcher loader, stretcher floor locks, and of course, different stretchers due to the different cabin sizes of the aircraft. It's important to bear in mind that the common components will provide flexibility for different stretchers in the future. This could very well reduce re-equipment costs down the track for you. First of all, let me show you the well-tried and proven stretcher system currently in use in the Pilatus PC-12 aircraft operated by RFDS Central Section. AEA designed, manufactured and commissioned the system in 2002. It has been extremely well received by our customer. Here is a demonstration of its use. If you noticed the stopwatch in the corner of the screen, you would have seen that it took less than 80 seconds from loading the stretcher onto the loader until the patient was safely secured inside the aircraft. The system is very good. Our proposed system for you will draw on the experience gained in the design and maintenance of the PC-12 stretcher system, while being redesigned to suit the particular needs of the Beach 200 and Beach 300 installations. Let's go through the loading and unloading step by step, identifying the key benefits. Firstly, all the stretchers will have drop down legs that are the correct height to allow easy sheet transfer of the patient from stretcher to stretcher if required. Ultimately, the same stretcher could be used from retrieval right through to destination hospital. Secondly, the stretcher slides onto the stretcher loader in the same manner as on the road ambulance. The dolly is the secret here as it acts as an interface between the stretcher and the aircraft. The stretcher also uses the same locking system used on the road ambulance so that trained aeromedical crew and road ambulance crew will find locking the stretcher easy. The third benefit is that the AEA stretcher loader is supported on the ground right up until the stretcher rolls into the aircraft. This means there is no trouble to lift heavy patients and also the strain on the aircraft is negligible. A fourth benefit of the stretcher loading system is that the loader is very firm so that the patient feels secure. The stretcher is locked to the dolly with the road ambulance style locks and the dolly is locked to the loader. Now it is time to partly release the dolly from the loader to allow the stretcher to enter the aircraft. 
By simply pushing this lever, a single person can push and slide the heavy patient into the aircraft. Note that while we slide the stretcher along the loader, it is still attached to the loader and is firmly supported so that it won't rock sideways. The sliding action then comes to a stop. This indicates to the operator that it is now safe to release the dolly from the loader. Once the patient is inside the aircraft cabin, benefit number six comes in. Once the stretcher is released from the dolly, it can be rolled towards the floor locks. It is important to note how easily the stretcher is manoeuvred through the aircraft cabin. When the stretcher is in the vicinity of the floor locks, there are guides, which you cannot actually see, that ensure the locks align correctly before the spring-loaded catch engages. There is no guesswork involved, as the guides locate the stretcher for you. Now the stretcher is locked to the aircraft, meeting all the CASA regulations. Finally, the task of stowing the stretcher loader. Electronics move the loader from the floor level to the stowed position. Just fold down the horizontal arm and rotate the loader to the stowed position in the doorway. For the beach aircraft, this operation will be very similar. Let's now quickly unload the patient. There we go, the patient is unloaded and ready to go into the road ambulance. Just to quickly summarise the key benefits of the system. Fold down legs are at the correct height for a patient transfer. Easy loading onto the stretcher loader. The AEA stretcher loader is supported on the ground for stability and safety. The stretcher is locked securely to the loader during all lifting operations. The stretcher remains safely attached to the loader until it's inside the cabin. And floor lock guides correctly position the stretcher before engaging. You have just seen the Pilatus PC-12 system in action. Of course, what is important to you is the Beach 200 and Beach 300 system. We're very pleased to say that the Beach installation can be just as effective. Members of our design team have spent the last two months working on the design concepts for your requirements. Using our past experience in the design and maintenance of the PC-12 system, we will make refinements and improvements to the design. We are very confident that your Beach 200 and Beach 300 system will be very user-friendly. The use of the road ambulance stretcher will feature in one of the configurations we are proposing. When it's used, the benefits we see are 1. No patient transfer is required from initial patient pickup to destination hospital. 2. The road ambulance can meet the aircraft at the country airstrip with the patient, significantly saving time not only for the patient but also in tying up the aircraft for a shorter time, i.e. 
This will improve aircraft utilisation. Three, back at the base, you don't need to retrieve the stretcher from the hospital. Before closing, I'd like to emphasise the importance of working closely with you to establish the numerous small details that when combined together will make a big difference in developing a very well thought out and well developed stretcher installation. We look forward to developing this with you. So now you have seen this concept that forms the basis of our proposal, we welcome the opportunity to work with you so that your air ambulance system can be the best in Australia.